This is going to be a demo of how to uninstall the previous version of Zotero to install the um, 5.0 version for Windows. So I've already done a test run of this and we're going to pretend like this is the old version um, that we're about to uninstall here. So I'm just going to scroll to the Z's. Oh, it doesn't say 5.0. Well, it does there, but we're going to pretend that this was 4 point something and just uninstall. I'm going to hit next. I'm not going to tell it to remove my personal data. I'm not sure what that means, but it's okay if it keeps it because we're going to reinstall it. So that's done. I'm going to close out that window, and now I'm going to... Um, go to my plugins in my browser. So I have plugins for Chrome and Firefox. And since I'm already in Chrome, I'm going to see if I can't. OK, so um, when I right click that icon in the corner there, I'm going to say remove from Chrome. So we're just going to remove it. So now it's gone. Simple as that. Um, and now I'm going to pull up Firefox, and I've got my um, connector here, but let's pretend it's the plugin. So with the 5.0 process, it is no longer plugins that we use. They are connectors, is what Zotero is calling them. So usually there's a Z in this corner, and so pretend there's a Z there. Um, I'm going to go to this uh icon there and hit my extensions and and let's just say remove um, so now the Z is gone and so is the, the Zotero icon and I'm going to just close that window this was from my test run let's ignore that but uh, we're gonna say cancel and now we're going to download Zotero and it's gonna do its thing here in the bottom left hand corner and I will fast forward to when that is done. So it is done here. I'm going to click on it. We're going to open it. It's extracting. So yes, I would like it to make changes on my device. I don't know if you can see this part, but I got a, um, a hazed out screen there and I said yes and now I'm hitting next and I just want the standard version and so I'm going to hit next and then install and it's installing it's fairly quick there and finish so now I'm going to search for it oh it's coming up um, so it, it's remembered my data this is my library from my previous um, version uh, so I'm going to also search it just so you can see what it says. So instead of standalone, it used to say Zotero standalone. Now it just says desktop app. So you can tell the difference, I think, that way. Um, if it hadn't remembered I'd, um, who I was or if this was your first time installing Zotero, Zotero period, um, you can go to edit and preferences and sync your login information here it remembered me i'm right there uh, but that will sync it with the web-based version slash your account through zotero which um, you can create at any time uh, before or after installing i would think so there's my um my library. Now I'm going to go back to Chrome and see. So it didn't automatically install connectors. So instead of plugins, like what I was saying, they have connectors here. Uh, so it that seems like something I'm going to have to install. So I'm just going to hit install Chrome. Add Zotero connector. Add, yes. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. It has been added to Chrome. So it so it's kicked me um, to my.
basic non-incognito browsers and it's recognizing this article I have pulled up as an article and so I could save to Zotero. You can see the little um, hover text there. Hit options when we right click on it. So we're going to update status, no, authorize. And this is how we uh, sync. So when I first did this, I had to enter in my information my to sync um, here and then just accept the defaults, but it's remembering me because I just did it. Uh, so I don't have to do that. And, and that's it. It should remember. And it's saying Zotero is currently available, so that's a good sign. So we're good for Chrome. But now back to this Firefox connector that you need to install it. Oh, I think I just did something wrong. Yeah, see, these were all my attempts last time. You need to copy and paste this into your Firefox browser or the browser you would like the connector to. Um, as you can see, this is what happened, what I had to do last time. So, um, oh, it's even recognizing what browser I'm in. So before it was Chrome here, and now it's a Firefox. So it recognizes the browser. That's neat. So I'm going to say install Firefox connector and then allow and it adds and OK. And so now that is there. Hmm. Let's make sure that we're synced. We're going to go to our add ons. And there it is. Let's see options authorized. So this looks just like the Chrome one. Um, they look a lot the same. So be, it does remember that I just visited this website, so it remembers my credentials, so it's not making me enter them in again, it's just making me reauthorize. So yay, so now let's test it out on, let's say, uh, this book review of the refrigerator monologues. So it's taking it a minute or two to recognize what it is. Oh, I hit the Z. So yeah, so now it's treating it as um, an article or maybe a web page. I'm not sure what the icon is. So it's saving to my library. I just hit it. So let's see if it did. It's taking its time there. Oh, yep, yeah, book review the refrigerator monologues right there. So we know that it works. So the tutorials that I've already made um, from installation forward are still relevant because so much is the same, um, it seems. It's just that Firefox won't have the built-in half screen for your library. It's got to be this window here. Um, but otherwise, the, the information in the tutorials could largely be relevant. I'm not sure about the Word plugin. Uh, that will be another video. But please feel free to reach out or comment below on this video. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or if I did something wrong uh, and you have a Zotero tip for, you, for the rest of us, that would be helpful. So um, thank you and I hope this helps.